Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the auto start capabilities of this Comap Intelli Neo 530 best. So here the BMS is already powered on. We usually don't need to power it off every day, so to speak. When it's in ready mode, we want to have it in a backup system for auto starting. The control is in auto mode. The BMS is powered on. And then I have a manual breaker in my hand to control the system start stop, the remote start signal, so to speak. Of course, this can be a PLC command if you want, but for easy demonstration, I have the real physical switch. So I flick the switch for remote start. And then you see the system start timer is counting down. Once the system start timer goes, the, the BMS will start giving the DC power. So this takes a bit of time for the DC power to start up to build up the, the voltages and everything to be balanced. So this will take a bit of time. The PCS is, is moving and starting to invert the voltage, building it. We hear the, the relays inside the PCS clicking away. And now you see the, the PCS already inverted the voltage into AC and we see power coming out. Since this is a manual breaker, uh, we cannot show you how the, the breaker closes directly. But if you have an auto breaker, this will close automatically. So this is how it starts. And I'm going to show you how to stop. So this is started. If you were to take load, you can close the breaker and take load. But now we're going to show you how the auto stop is. Auto stop again. Uh, if you have, I have a manual switch. If you have PLC, you have a PLC to send the start stop signal. So I just flick the switch to off. And you see the stopping counter is counting down 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the whole system stops. And there's a stop time and everything is back to when we started in, uh, in uh, standby mode. 